Well, a few things trigger frustration more than computer problems. Whether your windows won't open, your apple turns sour, or your internet is interrupted. Our CBS 5 consumer investigation found you may be paying too much to get back online. Here's investigative reporter Morgan Lowe. You are watching a high-tech setup, complete with hidden cameras and a computer we rigged to appear broken. We're testing computer repair companies. To find out why, just ask Peter Howald. A computer's an essential part of my business, yeah. So when his computer broke down, he called the Geek Squad at Best Buy. He says they told him his hard drive was bad. They could save his data for a hefty price. I think we were looking at roughly $500, $550 worth of repairs. Howell took his computer somewhere else, saved his data, and a ton of money. Bad news for Best Buy. I will not do business with them again. Anytime there's some type of repair that the average Joe can't figure out themselves, they're going to need to put their trust into someone else's hands. Felicia Overton of the Better Business Bureau says she hears lots of complaints about questionable computer repairs. So what are the odds you'll have a problem with a computer repair company? We took this computer and loosened one of the cables. This one, it's connected to the CD player. To fix it, all you need to do is use your thumb. But our investigation found that could cost you an arm and a leg. Next, we call three computer repair companies, the Geek Squad, Dr. Geeks, and Techs on Time. But before we start, we do one final check with help from Eric Moran from AZ Computer ER to make sure there's nothing wrong besides the loose cable. Everything is working properly. All the drivers are installed correctly. All of the drivers are up to date. We've checked it for spyware and viruses. Um, the computer is in perfect running order. That's not what we hear when we send our intern into Best Buy to see the Geek Squad. Okay. $59 for that. Um, okay. Around five hours. $59 for a diagnosis, and it's supposed to take five hours. Three days later, one of the geeks calls back asking for more money, $140 for more testing, and they have bad news. The only way to fix software issue at this point, from what we can tell, is to just start over. So basically we'd erase everything and we'd reinstall the operating system. So I would lose all my information? Everything. Remember, we know the only thing wrong with our computer is a loose cable. So we take the computer home and now it won't even start up. Our expert fixes it, re-rigs the loose cable, and we call Dr. Geeks for in-home service. We've wired an apartment with hidden cameras. They show up with lab coats, stethoscopes, and a grim prognosis. You know, it's going to have a heart attack, it's going to have a massive heart attack, and then you can lose all your documents, so you can lose stuff. The doctors take our computer to their lab where they find our loose cable, but they say there's more. What was the main problem then? Well, the cable was, was not hooked in like it should have been. Okay. And you had, um, you did have some viruses on it. They say they found viruses in the computer, something we checked for before calling them. Now it's time to let them in on our setup. This thing was running great until we pulled the little cable out, and that's all that was wrong with it. Yeah, it did. And we found that. They charge nearly $300. You think you guys deserve this? Well, I'll tell you something. I don't set the prices. That's what... My boss does. The last company we call Texon Time immediately finds our problem. There's a problem. I'll give you a 10% discount since I wasn't here very long. Only one out of three passes our test. Peter Howell says it's depressing because ordinary people don't know a megabyte from a mega bill. They have no choice but to trust repair companies like he did. It tells me that they got uh, a lot of people who don't know what they're doing. Representatives from Best Buy would not comment on our investigation, but this evening Dr. Geek sent us a statement that says they stand by their work and their reputation. They insist the computer we use contained viruses and they ask for a full retraction. That's something we're not going to do. I'm Morgan Lowe for CBS 5.